Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my December favorites. I have just a few products laid out in front of me that I've actually been using. As you guys know, I haven't been wearing makeup like as regularly, and so the products that I use, like I use, if that makes sense. So let me just go ahead and get started with what is on my lips today. That is this lipstick by Milani. It is the matte line, matte flirty, and it is like a really pretty berry kind of color. And I didn't used to reach for it, um, but then I just, I don't know, I really like it. It's got like just a little bit of pinkish purple in it, but so it's not straight like burgundy. And I think that's what I like about it. It's kind of like a little bit purpley red. And so a true berry, and I love that. I think it is actually very flattering to my skin tone, and I like it. So that's something. Um, another product I wanted to show you, I've been really into glittery nails. So these do not have like a base to them, like for example, um, the color I have on my nails right now, I had to put like a base down. Um, so I use like a silvery white base, and then I use this red glitter. This is actually by e.l.f. It's an e.l.f. nail polish in the shade Love Me, and it's basically like a clear um, paint with red dots, red glitter dots in it. And I've been using that a lot, which is silly, but I I guess December, I don't know, I just like the glitter nails. And then this one, this one's more interesting. This is the Deborah Lipman um, brand, and this is called L-U-F-T, Luft Balloons, L-U-F-T-B-A-L-L-O-N-S. I don't know, number 99. And this one, but it's got multicolored glitter. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Deborah Lipman polish has like a light pinky base. So I've been really into glittery nails. I don't know, I haven't worn this much glitter like consecutively since I was like a teenager. Like I have taken off the same polish and worn glitter and then redone it and redid with glitter on top again. So maybe I'm just festive, I don't know. Or maybe I'm scared because I'm about to turn 29 and I'm clinging to my youth, I don't know. Um, and then another product is this Peppermint Mocha Coffee Creamer. This is by Kroger um, Fries. Peppermint mocha, mocha, peppermint mocha coffee creamer, lactose free, and I like this. I get one bottle every year around the holidays, and then I'm over it. So by the end of the bottle, I was like, mmm, but I really did enjoy it, and it makes me feel like it's the holidays, so I like that. Um, another product I've been loving is this John Frieda Brilliant Brunette, and this is a liquid shine, shine shock perfecting glosser, and you just put it throughout your hair like mostly at the ends because it does tend to make your hair a little bit on the greasy look inside if you put it at your roots like it weighs it down so I just I just put it at my um, ends of my hair because it kinda like weighs down the top if you put it up here but um, and it really just makes my hair look really shiny so I recommend this I don't know if they sell one for like blondes but I would assume they do brilliant brunette liquid shine um, I'm surprised how much I like this. I've never used an, a shiner or a glosser before, but I kind of want to try more now because it really does make your hair look really nice. Um, also, another favorite are the Ardell Glamour Lashes. Again, these are the 113s. These are the ones I wore on my wedding day. And they are perfect. The band is super thin. I just really have been liking those lashes. And they're not like too much. Another product I've been loving is this Maybelline Flash Clean Express, and this is a um, makeup removing lotion. It's supposed to remove your makeup, cleanse, and moisturize. So it hydrates your skin while it takes the makeup off. You just take off the cap, and it's actually like a lotion. Um, so it is kind of like a moisturizer, and you just put it on your face, and it takes off your makeup while clean, clean, cleaning it. You don't have to rinse. And then it moisturizes afterwards. So when I'm having like a super lazy night and I don't want to wash my face, I just put a little bit of that on like some cotton and go like this and rub it all around my face. And at least I did something. Like it's better to do that than sleep with your makeup on. You know what I mean? So I've been really liking that. And then this last thing here is a combo of foundations. Um, I have been using this YSL Le Tint to Chiclat um, foundation in the shade B30. Um, for a while, 
and I, it's down to here in the bottle, as you can tell. But B30 is just a bit pale for me, if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but just a little bit light. So this time of year, I can finally start to use it. So I may actually use this up this winter. I would say the foundation coverage, it's an illuminating foundation with dimensional radiance and weightless perfection, SPF 19. I would say that this foundation is medium coverage, but I add one or two drops of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, and this is in the shade G30. And the two together make like the perfect amount of coverage, but I still get the luminosity of the YSL foundation. So I've been really liking that. And then lastly, I wanted to talk about a brush that I've been liking. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. And I kind of set a personal mission um, for this month to like find different ways to use my current brushes because I feel the itch to buy new brushes and I have like an insane amount of brushes. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Foundation Brush. It's like a small blush brush, but it's very, it's kind of domed and it's a little bit stiffer than the average blush brush. Like it's definitely not like loosey goosey. So today I used this to put my foundation on. I buffed it in using this and it actually worked really well. Um, I also like it for, um, brushing on my highlighter because it's domed like the tip the only part of it that's going to touch your face is the very tip like the sides don't actually touch your face if you don't press really hard so today I used it for foundation I've used it for highlighter I've used it for blush and I think every job I've tried it for it it works really well my one complaint my one complaint is that mine comes apart occasionally and I just have to push it back together but what do you want for a three dollar brush and I know I could glue it back or buy a new one for three dollars but I encourage you to check out the elf brush collection um, because the um, studio line that's three dollars they are really good and they've actually started incorporating some three dollar six dollar ten dollar brushes um, I think that the basics the three dollar ones the classic regular studio line are really good so highly recommend it if you have not checked them out and that is coming from me who has tried you know $50 brushes and stuff so thanks so much for watching let me know what products you have been loving um, for the month of December and I'll talk to you guys later bye